Change UK is a political party which started life in February when seven MPs left the Labour Party citing grievances such as Jeremy Corbyn's leadership style, Brexit and anti-Semitism. Within a matter of days they were joined by three former Conservatives, Dr Sarah Wollaston, Heidi Allen and Anna Soubry, with Anna Soubry saying that she was very happy to defend the record of the austerity coalition government, calling it marvellous. It was no surprise the media instantly took this new political formation. After all, it very much reflected their beliefs and ideas. And seeking to carve a path between the extremes of left and right, they really couldn't help themselves. Indeed, journalists widely acknowledged the launch of the independent group, Now Change UK, as a success, while Tom Watson decried the Labour leadership, saying that if Jeremy Corbyn didn't change tack, furthermore Labour MPs would leave. Of course, this being Tom Watson, that didn't happen. Fast forward three months and Change UK are now consistently polling somewhere between 2 and 4%. In a recent poll held by The Times, 90% of the electorate don't think that Change UK will be around in a decade's time. So much for the new politics, more here today, gone today. What's most humorous about the ongoing calamity that has Change UK is that if the Westminster lobby could have created a political party in their image, it would have been this. These are sensible moderates steering a path between left and right who go anywhere just so as long as it's in front of a TV camera and who'd be more willing to share cocktails with Westminster journalists than actually campaign out there in the country. It's no surprise then that one of their candidates in the forthcoming European elections is one Gavin Esler. Now, if he looks familiar, that's because he used to be a presenter on BBC Newsnight. And yet despite support from people whose professional opinion is actually meant to mean something, Change UK has been an unparalleled disaster. Right from the racist gaffe on its very first day, to the fact that two of its MEP candidates had to be pulled within 24 hours of being announced, and the fact that the party's logo looks like a redacted email on WikiLeaks. Then there's the gibberish espoused by Anna Soubry, Heidi Allen and Chris Leslie, not to mention the fact that Mike Gape's nickname apparently is Iron Mike. And they're called Change UK, yet they don't want to have a general election or by-elections or change the government or even change the Prime Minister, which begs the question, what do they actually want to change? The anti-politics of Change UK is a mirror image to that of the Brexit Party, the difference being it's just infinitely less successful. They decry elites while having no tangible offer to working people. They talk about a rigged system and yet some of the biggest fixers in town fund their operation. They talk about a rotten old politics when they themselves were the dictionary definition of it. The present moment is one defined by crisis, economic, political, ecological. And ordinary people know that big problems instinctively require big solutions, not better public relations and a sharper Savile Row suit. I suspect that Change UK won't be here next year, let alone in a decade's time. They are, without any doubt, the biggest joke in the last 20 years of British politics. But the funniest thing of all is that the joke is on a media establishment who was so insistent that this was exactly what the public wanted all along. Turns out they were wrong. We want you to join in. Can you, can you just look at your hands, please? You're really good, you're doing that ever so well. <laughs> That's the best I've seen it done. <laughs> Brilliant. That's it. It's there. That's the answer to this. It's in your hands. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to Navarra Media content on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. If you like what you see and you think we're playing an important part in changing politics for the better, why not help us be even bigger and better? Go to support.navaramedia.com and if you're already a subscriber, why not give us a little bit more?